What's up guys and welcome back to another T-Post development video. I've officially quit my full-time job over at Blizzard Entertainment and we have shipped ourselves back to New Zealand mid-COVID. Uh, sadly it started back up here again, but hopefully it gets better soon. Um, so I actually ended up dropping the concept of the car game that we were working on before and now we're working on something a bit smaller and easier to complete, um, but hopefully it should be interesting. I'll be going over that in this video. Being a story slash narrative based game, I figured I'd start with the story. Um, the game starts out of you being an intern programmer, um, you've been searched for a job after uni for about, you know, two or three years, as a lot of uh, programmers get stuck in the endless cycle of doing. It's an uh, unpaid internship, of course, because that's what large companies love to do. And um, everything in your life seems to be going well. Uh, your mother works at a supermarket, and your dad works um, in some sort of uh, transport agency or um, it's something like that. Essentially, your character doesn't know anything about it other than that. Um, your father's signed a lot of NDAs and he's not allowed to talk about work, so he doesn't. Um, from this point in the game, uh, you'll just play a few days of your life sort of uh, as your intern program. You'll go to work, uh, don't get paid, and come home and have a few conversations with your parents. And after a few days, um, they'll end up dying in some sort of car accident. But you'll see the photos of the car accident and it does not look like any normal car accident. The entire car has, um, looks, it's like rubble, essentially, which uh, does not, you know, a car crash would just dent up the front of the car or something. But the police will clear it through and say it's all fine. There was no uh, misdeeds or anything like that, and that's it. Uh, case closed. From this turn of events, your character will essentially spiral into a massive depression. Their work performance will go to zero. They'll eventually just get fired from their job, uh, from not being able to perform. Uh, your character, being paid absolutely nothing by the company he works for, will be unable to pay the mortgage payments of your two parents. So the mortgage will essentially fail, the bank will claim all the money back, and then uh, you're out homeless. An old family friend will catch uh, wind of this news, somebody who uh, knew your mother quite well, and offer you the opportunity to move into his flat that he's rented out to his niece or nephew. They don't take very good care of the flat, but it's something, and the rent is very cheap. Um, other than that, he also knows people who worked at the supermarket your mother used to work at before she died, and is able to hook you up with a job there. Um, it's not the best work, and the pay is not amazing, but it's something to get your life back on track. From this point, it'll be your job to essentially um, get your life back on track. Uh, clean up your room, clean up those comb tissues, stop drinking and essentially raise your mood high enough to actually be able to do something with your life. We'll have a mood bar, much like The Sims, and sort of cleaning up your room and getting these sort of basics even in order uh, will make a massive difference in your character's development. Once your room is clean and presentable enough, you will be able to relay out your room and essentially be able to upgrade certain items in the room uh, that present better stats for you. So a better bed equals better sleeping, better desk and so on, it's better mood. Uh, rip off that old shitty wallpaper um, replace the light that you have not replaced in your room for some reason, and you're just using a little lamp before. Uh, clean the carpets, in anything really. Uh, I plan to add more in the future, but it's, those are just some examples. Once you're at this point in the game, you'll essentially be able to go to the gym and start working out. Increase your uh, strength and stamina and speed, uh, all these sorts of things that will help you out at your job. Um, working at a you know, supermarket, you transport boxes around and lift things around, so all of this sort of stuff will help work you towards promotions. After giving the player a little time to settle into the little loop of the game of going to the supermarket, coming home, sort of upgrading their house and so on, an uh, old family friend of your father will show up at the house. He actually thinks um, that your parents have actually just moved house and this is the new place, not realizing that your parents are actually both dead. This news for some reason ends up terrifying him and he lets you in on a little bit of uh, details on what your father did. He doesn't really let you know much, but he, you find out what the company's name is. Um, he says... Many other people in the past have perhaps disappeared because of this company um, for just getting on the wrong side of them or whatever, um, and that you should not go anywhere near them. They're dangerous people. Um, you try to look it up on the internet, and nothing really shows up for it. It just seems like some sort of shell company. So this gives you a sort of starting point for the game of something to actually investigate. Now finally having a lead to chase, um, your character will start to investigate into what happened to your family, and this will lead you down a whole rabbit hole of... Uh, entire world government that exists above our own, uh, much like you hear about in conspiracies today. I just thought it'd be fun to make a game which is essentially all the conspiracies of the world just, what if they were, every single one of them was true? And hey, I love conspiracies, it's quite possible a lot of them are true, but 
in this game, everything's true. So I just wanted to chase these themes. They're all quite fun. Uh, well, also very, very dark, but um, that's sort of what I'm into. And yeah, that's where we're at right now. Hope you've been enjoying the photos of stuff that's been flashing up over the course of this video. Um, this is the stuff I've worked on for the moment. Uh, Katie's currently working on a dialogue system back there, uh, so we can actually get uh, characters interacting with you. Uh, hopefully we can, she can make a video on that sort of stuff soon. And yeah, I hope to do more of these in the future, uh, now that I'm back on track. No longer massively depressed, which is great. Um, and yeah, looking forward to making this game. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this, hopefully it's not too long, and I'll catch you guys later.